Hi, everybody. I'm Superintendent George Arlotto, and I want to talk briefly about our COVID-19 contact tracing program and notification to families. As our students return to buildings, we will naturally encounter instances where we need to communicate positive COVID-19 cases to families and employees. It is important to note that a positive case for a student or staff member is not, in and of itself, an indication of an issue within the school building. Our schools are reflections of the communities in which they are situated, and our protocols, which have been approved by the Anne Arundel County Department of Health, are aimed at halting any spread of this virus inside our buildings. Those protocols can be found at www.aacps.org forward slash safety protocols. When we become aware of a case that involves anyone, student or staff member, who has been on one of our campuses, we immediately alert our AACPS contact tracing team. That team gathers all the necessary information and, in conjunction with the Department of Health, determines anyone who is a close contact of the positive case. A close contact is defined as any person who is within six feet of a COVID positive person, whether masked or unmasked, for a cumulative 15 minutes over a 24 hour period. Those 15 minutes do not have to be consecutive. Those who are in the vicinity of a COVID positive person but not close enough to be deemed a close contact, for example, in a classroom or on a bus, may be considered a potential exposure. Our school system will notify employees and families of students who are determined to be either close contacts or potential exposures. Close contacts are required to quarantine for 14 days, and that time cannot be lessened by a negative test. Potential exposures do not have to quarantine. The quarantine guidelines can change, especially as more people are vaccinated. So if you receive a letter, please read it carefully. It's important to understand that when we are determining close contacts, if we can exclude someone, we must include them. Our teachers and coaches are doing a great job of keeping students spaced apart, and we need students to help in that as well. I understand that our students haven't seen each other in school for nearly a year, but now is not the time to get close to each other. And if you, as a parent or guardian, are contacted about a case, please provide as much information as you can. Our contact tracing team is not trying to find fault or place blame. It is trying to protect students and employees. In addition to the notifications I've mentioned, our school system will post a letter about the case on the specific school's website and then use our automated notification system to send a phone call, email, and text message to all families and staff at the impacted school to alert them to the letter. This is done not to raise concern, but rather as a transparent way to keep school communities informed. The letter will contain links to additional resources, so please be sure to read it. Data on active and total cases since March 1 is kept on our new COVID-19 data dashboard, which can be found online at www.aacps.org forward slash COVID-19 dashboard. The dashboard shows the number of active cases, those from the last 14 days, as well as the number of overall cases since we brought our first large group of students back into our school buildings for hybrid learning. This dashboard will be updated by 5 p.m. every Wednesday with data through Tuesday night. Finally, I want to reiterate what I've said many times before. Every single person has a role to play in ending this pandemic. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. Our schools are open, and we're continuing to bring more students back. 
This is exciting for all of us. And we need all of you to help us continue the momentum. Thank you.